Hello everyone. This video is about what is mutar rotation and the mechanism behind this mutar rotation. Coming to meaning of mutar rotation, here muta means change. So there is change in rotation that's why it is called as mutar rotation. Coming to definition, gradual change in specific optical rotation of sugar solution due to interconversion of alpha and beta forms of sugar until equilibrium is reached is called as mutar rotation that means so whenever alpha and beta forms of a sugar in a solution they are interconverting that interconversion results in the change in the rotation of light which is passed through that solution so this is mutar rotation this can also be defined as the change in optical rotation which represents the interconversion of alpha and beta forms of a sugar until a constant fixed rotation is reached here the meaning is same here so there is interconversion of alpha and beta forms of the sugar and that interconversion represents the change in the rotation of the light so this change takes place until it reaches a constant fixed rotation that is where the alpha and beta forms are in equilibrium coming to mechanism of mutar rotation to understand the mechanism we have to prepare two sugar solutions using optically active sugar optically active means sugar which has the ability to rotate the light so here we are using d glucose and its anomers that is alpha d glucose and beta d glucose so using the crystalline forms of alpha d glucose and beta d glucose we prepare two solutions so one solution contains alpha d glucose and the other solution contains beta d glucose when light is passed through this solution which contains the alpha d glucose it shows a specific rotation of plus 112 degrees gradually this rotation changes to a fixed constant rotation of 52.7 degrees after few hours so during this time alpha form changes into beta form and beta form changes into alpha form so this change occurs through a straight chain or open chain form in the same way when light is passed through beta d glucose solution prepared using the beta d glucose crystals initially the solution shows a rotation of plus 18.7 degrees which also gradually changes with time to a constant rotation of 52.7 degrees here also beta form changes to alpha and vice versa to reach the equilibrium state where the rotation is fixed or it is constant that is 52.7 degrees at this equilibrium state the sugar solution contains 1/3 alpha d glucose and 2/3 beta d glucose and less than 1% as open chain form that means let us consider the glucose solution contains 100 glucose molecules out of those 100 glucose molecules approximately 36 molecules are in the alpha form and 63 molecules are in the beta form so that is 36% is in the alpha 63% in the beta form and less than 1% remains in the open chain form 